Countdown's on. We're just one week away from the first eclipse in decades. We've got you covered. Our Eclipse Fest coverage kicks off as we count down to the big day. Yeah, and the only way to safely see the eclipse will be to use some special mm -hmm. solar glasses. Health right. reporter Stephanie Stahl is here with more on what can happen if you don't have protection. Mm -hmm. This is really serious, you guys. You know, in the Philadelphia area, 80% of the sun will be covered by the moon, but it will still be daylight. And looking at the eclipse without these glasses can cause permanent damage to your eyes. Leonard Bates was nine years old when he saw his first eclipse. The 80-year-old made his own viewer instead of using solar glasses. I didn't think it was necessary to buy smoke glass, so I smoked some glass myself. That decision cost him. Leonard permanently lost some vision in his right eye. There was a spot right in the center of my right eye, my focus, it was just a blur. Doctors are worried there will be more cases like Leonard's with the upcoming eclipse, either people using the wrong kind of eye protection or because the sun's brightness will be diminished, they'll be able to stare at the sun, which normally you can't do. It's so dangerous for people to look at the sun, even for brief periods of time, because you can cause permanent damage to the retina. We call it solar retinopathy, and it's really very close to burning a hole in the retina. This study documents other cases of acute eclipse retinopathy that happened in January of 2011 where there was a total eclipse over much of Europe. Four people who looked directly at the sun during the eclipse without eye protection all had damaged retinas. You can see the actual swelling in the retina that occurs in the damage. That's fortunately, you know, a lot of times it's reversible, but unfortunately, uh, a lot of times it's not, it's not reversible and uh, people can, um, you know, have a permanent uh, loss of vision. The only way to safely view a partial or total eclipse is with certified solar glasses. Simple sunglasses are not enough. <laughs> very, very careful. I mean, the the warnings that you hear are right. Leonard says he feels lucky to still have vision in his left eye. This time around, he'll watch the eclipse on TV. Now, some bogus solar glasses are already circulating. They don't have the certified UV filters. Doctors say they're dangerous. People using them will not get the kind of protection that they need. So to help sort all of this out, we've got a list of certified glasses for you, cbsphilly.com. So in all of our Eclipse Fest, mm -hmm. we will have all of this covered for you throughout the week. Good to know. Yeah, all right, Stephanie.